As you may already know, gods and the afterlife were both really important parts of the ancient Egyptian culture. What we're going to do now is we're going to go into the Ipswich Museum tomb to find out a little bit more about those things. Okay, so here we are in the Ipswich Museum tomb and right in front of me is our genuine mummy, Lady Taha Thor. She wasn't a pharaoh, but she was a very rich Egyptian lady, so she was able to get mummified in preparation for the afterlife. But there were a few more things that you had to do to guarantee you entry to the afterlife. And we're going to have a look at what those are right now. This is Lady Tahathor. She is here to enter the afterlife. But first, Anubis, a jackal-headed god of the afterlife, has an important test for her. Anubis is going to weigh Lady Tahathor's heart against the feather of truth. This is why it's important for people to keep their hearts with them when they get mummified. And this is Amut, the crocodile-headed goddess. She is watching with interest because if Lady Tahathor has had a good, happy life, her heart will be nice and light and she can continue her journey in the afterlife. But if she has had a bad, sad life, her heart will be heavy 